Hello YouTube and welcome back. It's now time to replace this older Edwards system, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's what we're putting in today. I have these Wheelock Exceder horn strobes and strobes. You can see these are pretty modern looking. They're actually pretty uh, clean for today's standards. They are actually pretty new. Um, these things aren't old at all. I think they were discontinued, what, 2022 or something like that. But um, they were discontinued in favor of the LED units. However, these are still really nice looking devices. So we're going to go ahead and put these up today. I'm going to start by removing these devices. So these are a little tedious to remove and install. There's these tiny, tiny screws. And then this is how you get the cover off. So you got to make sure you don't lose that screw. Then you can loosen that top screw and then this cover slides off right here. So it's important that if you're planning to keep these devices, you save these screws. I like to use these little metal pans. You can get them for free at Harbor Freight sometimes, but they're magnetic and it allows you to keep these screws safe. So now what we're gonna do is undo these two screws right here to remove these units from the box. Behind it, you can see our homemade mud ring here. It actually held really well, but now we're gonna go ahead and remove these Wago connectors, which hold these cables in place. And once we do that, we can remove the entire device. We could undo the device screws from here. And once we do that, we can pull this out to expose these cables, undo these terminals, and then we can remove this entire box enclosure. Now that all the components are off of these boxes, it's time to remove the boxes. Just keep in mind that when we installed these, this second box is not attached to the wall. This is just an attachment of this box. So all of it is just being supported by this. Reason being, I didn't want to make another hole in the wall because, again, the key to setting up a good demo system is not damaging anything. I mean, it's about preservation. I'm not here to make my walls look like the moon, so it just makes sense to do something like this. But that means that as soon as I take this one box off, both of these will come off, and hopefully there's not going to be a single scratch behind that box. So let's go ahead and undo these screws. And once we pull this off very carefully, there's really nothing behind there. So no damage, no extra holes in the wall, so that's how I want it. You can see that up here there's some tiny marks from the box you can't really notice it if you just wipe it with a damp rag you won't see it but you can see every single one of my fire alarm demonstrations has mounted on this right here just these two screw holes um and that's something i've been really happy with i've never had to do any extra damage to my wall from modern devices to these massive devices that take up huge boxes everything's just mounted on this right here and it works pretty good so yeah Go ahead and put in this extra shallow red box for the exceeders. And now we can start the installation. These are really easy to install. You just put this mounting plate on and then you just wire the connections here and then you can just snap the device on. So now we're gonna tighten up these wiring connections. Again, you can see the negative side just goes to one terminal. The positive side here has two terminals. The reason for that is because this is a separate bracket where the wiring is done, the device has to be supervised. So for example, right now, this should cause a trouble condition on the panel because there's now a break in the circuit. If you wired these under the same terminal, even if someone ripped off this device, the system wouldn't notice that there's a device missing. So this is so the system can monitor this unit. But either way, now that this is installed nice and easy, what we're gonna do is set our candela, which in this case, I'm just gonna do 15, and then also the volume selection. This is gonna be code three, low volume. So you just kind of hook it on the top there and then snap it on and there you go really elegant looking device so now i'm going to replace this pulse station so you open it at the top with a small flathead screwdriver just turn it counterclockwise and then there's two screws like pretty much every other device so i'll just remove those to do that you expose the wires behind the device so you just pull it out like this you can take your flathead screwdriver once again and release these terminals like so, pull that out, and there you go. Let's go ahead and install this box right here. Feed the wires through the holes carefully. Let's go ahead and slide this pull station on here. So I'm gonna put the black wires together. Polarity doesn't really matter with these pull stations because conventional pull stations are just switches. But um, of course, it's a good idea to keep the polarity correct is some devices like smoke detectors which could be later on the zone uh, do require polarity let's go ahead and install this pull station on the box so we'll have to tuck these wires back then we'll put the screws into the electrical box here so now we're going to go ahead and close the pull station 
that is a completed installation right there. It looks pretty nice. You can see if you go up of our exceder horn strobe, I think this looks pretty accurate to something you might see in a real building. Over here on the other side of the basement, I'm installing another Wheelock HSR horn strobe. This one's exactly the same as the other one. I have it set to the same specifications and everything. 15 candela low volume. Over here, I'm installing a Secutron RSGT bar. This one is a rebrand, like I said, but um, I thought it fit well because Secutron is a Mercom brand now, and I frequently see the Wheelock devices with the uh, Mercom systems. Um, then going into the utility room, again, another HSR horn strobe. Down here, I'm installing a BG-12, which I also think is a pretty common match with these Exceder horn strobes. In the bathroom, nothing really too special. Installing an HS, no, not an HS, um, it's an STR, so it's just a remote strobe. Going into the fire museum room, I have a ceiling-mounted wheel like Exceder. This right here is an HSRC. This one was actually generously donated by Jordan Knightith, so thank you very much for that. I also put up an I3 smoke detector to replace that older ionization unit. And then going into the garage, I have another one of these Secutron pull stations, and I replaced the uh, horn light combo with another HSR horn strobe. There you have it. The job is now done. All of my exceders are installed. You can see these things look a lot more slick than the units that were here before. That's honestly an understatement because the units that used to be here were those really, really weird looking horn slash light things. But um, these are now up. So now there's one thing left to do. There you go. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.